How many remember using one of these cool devices? Yeah, look around the room, Gen Y, huh? You're jealous. <laughs> You're like, what the hell is that? However, how are you in real life situations when a real person and, and does that really translate? Hold on, are we texting? <laughs> That's what it does. How many of you notice a lot of young people are texting when they're in the home? So they're more comfortable with a screen mm -hmm. than they are with interacting. And here's what we found. At the top of every organization, the executives who had grandkids understood the internet revolution. Young people at the bottom coming in right out of college understood what a T1 and a T4 was, what digital archiving meant, and the difference between the internet and the World Wide Web. They knew it intuitively, but in the center of every organization, there was a revolution going on and no one knew it. Are you in the middle of a revolution and don't know it? Brad Zollis is the award-winning author of Liquid Leadership, From Woodstock to Wikipedia, which delves deeply into the generational divide between baby boomers, Generation X, and millennials. The reason we take so long to get a product done is because we do it right the first time. <laughs> Published worldwide in multiple languages, Liquid Leadership has been called the guidebook for the 21st century. Generation was raised on thousands of upgrades of software by the time they're in their 20s. So, change is the constant in their fears. They're used to change. We look for stability, they look for excitement. It's a different world. As a former C level executive of a publicly traded company, Brad has the credentials to tackle any business situation and is currently working with some of the top international brands and industry associations showing each his award-winning management strategies to motivate your 21st century workforce culture. These companies are doing things that are great. It's very similar to what you're doing here at MasterCard. They flatten the hierarchy. They're starting to listen to customers and employees and change the tone of the way we do things. It is called a results-only management model. Hearing Brad speak blew my mind. The best presentation I've heard in ages is the frequent feedback from C-level executives, meeting planners, and audience members after attending Brad's interactive keynote sessions. As the foremost expert on cross-generational issues and workforce culture, the world's leading business publications seek out Brad's insights on millennials and today's digital age worker and customer. But Brad doesn't just cover business. He has appeared on several prestigious media outlets informing parents, educators, government leaders and associations of the major influences affecting all of us in the information age. Wherever Brad shows up, he brings an experience to your meeting like no other, complete with plenty of humor, case studies, statistics and audience interaction that will have your attendees talking about your event for years to come. How do you learn in a video game? In order to keep his keynotes customized, Brad does deep research into your business sector before your meeting. This includes covering pain points, hidden influences, and technological disruptions. Since your audience comes first, Brad makes sure they have the tools to succeed in the 21st century. And when your meeting is finished, Brad offers ongoing consulting services to companies and consumer brands on how to sell, market, and retain today's finicky consumer. Whether it's baby boomers, Generation X, or millennials, he'll show you the best way to reach them.
coming up with the next big idea. Boom. Netflix. Reed Hastings started Netflix. Do you know why he started Netflix? He was angry. Because <laughs> back in the day, they used to charge you late fees. Do you remember that? He was charged, I think it was $60 because he didn't return the right stuff on time. He was so angry, he started a multi billion dollar corporation. <laughs> Every Friday, Reed Hastings, the founder of Netflix, entertains proposals from employees. He's looking for one idea, one button, one thing that they can put on that website that's a million dollar idea. And he rewards his employees. And it got so competitive he started to create a challenge outside of Netflix. A million dollars to any team that can come up with a great idea that they can put on their website and that one button can create millions of new customers. Netflix, flattening the hierarchy, listening to everybody in the organization. This works. It just feels uncomfortable at first because we've all been taught to hide in our office a good employee walks around and obeys certain things. That isn't the kind of environment we have now. We have an environment of change, of innovation, of creativity. And these are the companies that did not get it. As a former C-level executive, Brad offers your executive team a closed door session that will give them an elusive competitive advantage. They're going to. Brad's observations and his books are invaluable to understanding millennials and the beginning of understanding a multi-generational workforce. So guess what they did? They decided that each commanding officer had to go through basic training with their new recruits. His workshops have been hailed as an incredibly interactive learning experience. Let's bring it back for a second. What did you learn? <laughs> Technology changes our behavior. Now you have to share knowledge. Sharing knowledge is important. A new customer is rising, along with a new workforce. And today's younger leaders will be tomorrow's decision makers. Time to reinvent yourself and your business for the information age. If you are interested in booking Brad Zollis as a keynote speaker for your next event, or to schedule a generational workshop summit, or even our ongoing consulting packages, send an email to info at liquidleadership.com or go to www.liquidleadership.com. Thank you. We look forward to hearing from you.